Today, I wanted to go over uh, some affiliate stuff. Okay, so a lot of companies will pay you to send them customers, right? And for every sale, for every customer, they give you a bid. Now, when you promote them, if you do it in an honest way, you could make some pretty good money. You lay the groundwork, the foundation, and you refer. Now, me personally, I only like to refer people to things that I actually use and made money from, or that I know is, even if I didn't have a need for it, I know it's something quality. I didn't need it, but I know that it's a quality product, service, or idea, um, or it's something that I've actually consumed, right? That's the only way that I like to promote affiliate things. Now, LegalZoom, I always talk about LegalZoom. Of course, you can do it. Um, you can, uh, I have to quit saying, um, uh, so forgive me. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> That um filler word, I'm trying to practice on that, y'all. Work with me. So, I love LegalZoom, but there are times where, you know, you, you, your budget, your money is just a little funny and you're trying to just get the basic things done. You're trying to just incorporate or copyright or trademark and you want to do this thing with this little piece of money that you have and you don't have the money to pay someone else to do it. So of course, if they do it for you, they're gonna charge you a fee, right? If you are, you know, you just don't have the time or whatever, it's fine. But I absolutely love LegalZoom. Look, I scrolled all the way down. I clicked company, I clicked affiliate. Now, I'm going to sign up for this. I'm going to become a uh, LegalZoom affiliate. In this particular video, I am not promoting them. I'm just trying to show you how to look for reputable affiliate programs, okay? There's products and services that you use right now. Go to their website, scroll all the way down like I did here, and check to see if they have an affiliate program. Okay, so let's kind of think of it like this. Say you purchase, you know, I've spent lots of money with LegalZoom. So I want some, it would be cool to have some of that money back. You know, I'd use it for other businesses and other things that I have to do. So if I'm, I've something that I've used and so I'm confident in it and I don't mind promoting it because it's an awesome service. If you, if you could afford it, you don't have the time to go through the learning curve of filing and doing the things yourself. You don't want to go to uh, a lawyer in your area or whatever, and you just want to do it yourself. You want to file out all the paperwork and do it yourself. And I may actually create a video to help some folks do that. But LegalZoom, you, you can go on here and pretty much be in business, you know, in, in about 30 minutes. And the good thing is it's legit it's this is uh lawyers and all like all type of legal minds went in i think one of the people to help start paypal or one of those things are a part of this a part of the legal zoom as well awesome awesome uh service okay yes you have to pay them if you don't have the time to fumble around and try to do the paperwork yourself, you know, risk doing it wrong and having to do it over, filing fees and trying to figure out where you mail and send, where do you go and what do you do? You don't have time to figure all of that out. You need to get it done right now. LegalZoom will be your best bet. Now, I know that they have competition. I don't know who their competition is, but I know they probably have competition. Everything that comes out good, here comes the competitors. Uh, so you may want to check with the competitors because they may be a little cheaper or they may be more expensive. So you can compare in between, you know, other folks that, you know, other sites that are doing the same type of thing. Um, be careful with the scam folks. Be careful, be careful. Now, if you are dealing with some groundbreaking type things where you uh, need the 
what is that called? Like the confidentiality disclosures and, and you are breaking something new, a brand new product. And you're trying to kind of keep product, service, or idea. And you're trying to keep it under wraps, you know, and you want to incorporate, you want to do some certain things, but under some, a little bit of anonymity and you don't want to disclose too much because you want to be the first to come to market with this thing. In that case, I would say, try to file the stuff yourself. Okay, because you never know what paperwork is running through who hands or whatever. And you're trying to come to market with something first and then it gets leaked and someone else does it. And, you know, you lose out on that brand new effect. You, you know, when something comes out new, you have a group of people that are attracted to brand new things. And so they attach themselves on to it and they purchase it because they like to be the first. Right. And so you want all of those people. And as you know, even if you have patents and all of this type of stuff, that stuff runs out and eventually other competition can come in. So if you're dealing with something super sensitive like that, I would either deal directly with a lawyer, directly with a lawyer. You know, I wouldn't be putting too much stuff out on the internet until you guys can fully come to market and, you know, now you out here. Um, but yes, Go, I said, um, again, oh my goodness, y'all, I'm sorry. Listen, go to some of your favorite product service idea websites, check them out, scroll all the way down, see if they offer an affiliate marketing program. If you're already in love with the stuff, you're already in love with the product service or idea, you've used it, you can come from a very personal, real, honest standpoint and get other folks to go over there and, you know, patronize them. And they will reward you, okay? And uh, that's about it. So I hope that this information was helpful to you. If you're looking for affiliate marketing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just type it in and click on a bunch of stuff. I would start off with your favorite products, services, and ideas, and go to those sites. Go and reach out to those people, because it could be content creators. Um, that you pr help promote or something like that. And they give you little incentives. Um, any, I said it again, y'all, I have to figure out shout out to all the people with the communication degrees and all of this stuff, whatever they taught y'all to be able to speak without saying the filler words. Um, uh, ooh, ooh, you know, shout out to you guys. I don't have any of that training. I am just trying to actually train myself in real time, but listen, I really want you to go check out some of your favorite product service idea websites, scroll all the way down, sign up to their affiliate marketing. If you do not have any way to promote them, create a free blog, kind of like your diary. If you can build up a following with that, um, maybe just kind of going through your day or what you did for the day, some of your life experiences, whatever you want to write in that blog, but you build up a following. You may want to start a YouTube channel. You may already have a website or if you already have Facebook and Instagram and all these things, these are the places where you can get on there and recommend. Make sure you're writing or speaking genuinely because if you've used a product or service for real, talk about your real experience with the thing. If you haven't used a product or service, but you know someone that did and they raved about it and you know that it's quality, then speak from the perspective, like, uh, let them know that you haven't physically used it or tried it or whatever, but you've heard all this great things and that, that you trust that this is a quality product, service, or idea, right? That way you are not, cause I mean it, you can ruin your reputation in an instant. So I don't want you to promote faulty, messed up products, you know, useless stuff. And then everyone's looking at you saying, hey, well, you the one told me to go buy it. And so now they mad at you. And so now you've sat up here and uh, kind of shot yourself before you even started. So if you're interested in trying to build any type of affiliate marketing income, start with your faith, the things that you trust. Go to those websites. Be careful with all this abstract ass weird mess, you know, and I'm not trying to knock these people because they putting their hard work into stuff and they're trying to promote great, wonderful for you. 
but I would stick to things that you've tried or you know firsthand about. That way you're not so scammy and weird because I'm telling you, if deceit, lies, all of this flim flammy mess, the profits that you get from scamming and scheming and lying and deceiving and, you know, you won't be able to keep it. You'll lose that money and probably more money. And then you'll lose credibility. You'll lose your reputation. It's too much. It's too costly, right? For those little bitty pieces of crumbs right now, please don't let them, don't, you know, don't fall for that mess. You want to build your foundation on honesty, okay? It is okay to make a mistake as long as you are accountable. But coming in the game, coming out, you want to really be on point. Because, I mean, you can tarnish your reputation and be done before you can even start. Okay? So keep that in mind. I hope this was helpful. If you liked what you heard, you liked the information, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, We can go through, check out. What is affiliate trusted by the world's largest brands? So it's a separate company that's dealing with their affiliate stuff, right? Oh, case studies. I, I don't, I have no idea why I like reading case studies, but I do. Mm. <clears throat> Complete mobile tracking. Through button post tap app partnership yields fantastic results. Deal India consumer affiliate program sees big growth. Consumer electronic giant sees post migration revenue growth. Growth, growth, great. RS companies win competitive market. Okay, okay. Norton. So CJ results in major growth, 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 growth. Show more. Oh, these are going back kind of far. Okay. Hmm. Oh, so they, I get it. I get it. I don't know why I like looking at people's about us pages, but I do. So I take it this is the company that's handling their... All right. So this, so it's separate. But as you can see, this is what you'll get. Standard commission starts at 15%. Cookie duration, dedicated affiliate team, industry leader, online legal services. Okay, great. Sign up today. I am going to sign up for this uh, and then I'm going to begin promoting it. I'm going to begin. I'm going to do a screen share where we walk through how easy the site is and I am going to promote LegalZoom. So just to give you a heads up, this isn't a promotion for them right now. There's not any affiliate links in the description or they, there won't be. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to go and search for your own affiliate marketing. Because if you type in affiliate marketing on its own, a bunch of flim flam mess is going to start up. Uh, pop up the reason why they're they're gonna be in the first search they pay to be up there at the top because they want you to see them and click on them first okay I'm not saying that they're all flim flam or any of them are flim flam I am just saying I want you to be promoting products and services and ideas that you yourself trust that way you can sleep at night okay just say for instance you promote some type of toy for a child I'm this is just an example and this toy is toxic you know it has some type of parts that are unsafe right so it comes out later on that this product is unsafe and you were the one promoting it let that sink in okay then people are angry at you and you're like 
I just was trying to make some money. You've not ordered the toy. None of your children play with the toy. You've never even physically held the toy in your hand. And you out here promoting it. That's just an example. That can stand for anything. Do not promote products, services, and ideas that you don't truly believe in. And if something does come out, stand on it. Be accountable. You got to do that apology tour. Do it. Hey, you guys, I was promoting this toy. It weren't wound up being faulty. I apologize. You know, if you guys have any questions or problems, recall, blah, blah, blah. Give them all the information about recalls and all the information of where they can get compensated and whatever. Try to remedy the situation, but do not go try to hide under a rock and try to hide. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And, you know, try to go over. No, stand up and say, hey, you guys, I apologize. This toy is recalled, blah, blah, blah. Here's, here's all the information about the store. You know, be really transparent because sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes, you know, you... You may have had a positive experience with a company and then that experience was positive for you. But overall, these people are on flim flam. And so you're calling, to, you're trying to promote them because you think it's awesome. But that service, that quality service product, whatever that you got is not what everyone else got. So you may have had a positive experience, but everyone else didn't. Right. So I understand there's going to be some situations where it's not too much you can do. It's not technically your fault or you couldn't help it. You couldn't foresee it, but you do still need to get ahead of it and be accountable. So that's why I'm telling you to start off with product services and ideas that you either use or that you trust. I'm really for real about to be gone now. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. If you know any trusted companies with product services and ideas that you want to recommend, feel free. Now you cannot put links. You cannot put links. So just type out the name. If you know any, if you've made money from them or whatever, if I go and check it out and see that it's flim flam, I'm going to delete your, no, I'm not going to delete your comment. I'm just going to say, this is not, no, <laughs> this is cap or whatever. I'm going to make sure all of the people that follow me know that what you're talking about is not right. Okay. So don't feel bad, but if you out here trying to promote some flim flam on my channel, it, uh -uh, that's not going to happen, honey. Now, I want you to succeed. I want you to have the money and the things that you want. I want you to be uh, financially stable and secure and, uh, you know, not have to struggle, not have to lie, cheat, steal or whatever to, to be, you know, make a living. Some people really think that they have to take all these shortcuts or they're just kind of backed into a jam. You know, they backed into a, a piece of mess right now and they don't quite know how to get out. And that is when we make our worst decisions. We make super bad decisions when we backed into a corner. Many of us do. And sometimes it might be hard to stay honest when you're sitting up here trying to figure out how you're going to eat. And if some dishonest mess is presented to you, and you like, oh, well, you know, I have to do this. Please understand. No, you do not have to do that thing. Okay, you do not. You don't have to lie, cheat, steal, skim, scam, flim, flam, kill nobody, whatever. You do not have to do that. You're choosing to do that. You can be patient. You can wait it out. You can say no to the lying crap and wait for the more honest thing that's going to pop around. Some of these lessons that we, you know, some of the things we go through, all of, a lot of it is self-inflicted. So be accountable for what you self, if you jacked up your money, you terrible with money. Yes, you in a situation, but be accountable for how you got there. You can pull through, but you do have to understand, okay, well, this is how I got here. I spent too much here. I did too much here. I was lazy. I procrastinated or whatever. And just dedicate your time to not doing that no more, it, it, you know. Be honest with yourself or whose fault it is or why you in this situation. Do not sit up here and try to uh, dig more or dig a deeper hole because you think you in a hole now. If you flam and scam, you keep on and keep on and keep. You never ain't going. You never ain't going to catch no break. You will never catch a break like that, baby. You don't keep nothing you still lie and deceive for. OK, please understand that. I want you to keep your stuff. This is why. 
for whatever reason, I changed the entire direction of my channel because I want to try to help folks best I can. I know it's hard sometimes because people be presenting all of this stuff and it's like, oh, easy money. Oh, just lay back and chill and the money coming in. Uh uh. No, no, no. I'm not telling you that you got to slave or work hard, you know, super hard. You can work smart, but you do have to be patient. You have to lay your groundwork. All right. So until next time, have a wonderful day.